Corpus is a powerful resonator effect that is an optional add-on for Ableton Live 8. It is a very flexible effect and there are many uses for it. In this tutorial, we will use Corpus to create a sub-bass layer, which we will then use to thicken up a bass sound. Already set up, I have a track with a bass I made using Operator and some of Ableton's effects. It has a grungy dub style to it. I've also prepared some MIDI clips to go with the bass. Here's what I have so far. I'm mostly happy with the sound so far, but I'd like to fatten it up by adding a bit of sub bass to it. So I'm going to use Corpus for this. I'm going into my browser and dragging an instance of Corpus into a send track. I'm using a send track because I'd like to have a dry or unaffected version of the bass, along with a copy of the bass line with Corpus's effect on it. There are a couple other ways to do this. One is using racks. But here, I'm going to use send tracks instead. Now I'm turning up my B send so the bass signal is sent to Corpus. And I'm going down to Corpus and turning the wet dry knob to 100%. Let's hear the sound now with Corpus affecting it. So at this point, Corpus is adding a high resonant sound to the bass. We want Corpus to add a sub bass sound. So let's start tweaking some of Corpus's controls in order to get that low end we're looking for. First I'm going to switch the model type to membrane, because to me it will work the best for a bass sound. Now I'm going over to the sidechain section and selecting the track that has my operator bass sound along with the MIDI clips that are triggering it. Now I'm turning on the frequency toggle, which will allow Corpus to be invoked by the MIDI notes that are triggering the operator bass sound. Also, if you look over to the right, the tune control has been replaced by a transpose control. This is because incoming MIDI notes will now set the frequency or tune of the resonator effect in Corpus. Also, I'll leave the side chain trigger set to last so that the resonator effect will always be tuned by the current MIDI note that Corpus receives. I'm leaving the off decay button turned off at this point, and I'm setting the decay control to a nice high number, because I want the resonator to have a nice long decay, so it will be easier to tweak. So let's fire off the clip and hear the changes. So you can hear that by adjusting those few controls, the sound coming from Corpus has radically changed. At this point, we have a really nice raw, low-end sound. So let's refine and tune it a bit. The four controls that I'm going to use to tune the sound are brightness, inharmonics, and the transpose and fine knobs. By turning the brightness knob to a low value, it will increase the level of low frequencies like bass frequencies. Also, by lowering the inharmonics value, it will tighten those low frequencies. At this point, I'm going to tweak the transpose value, but I'd like to play the sound back while I'm adjusting so I can hear the changes. While I'm doing this, I'll also further adjust the decay to my liking. Again, we're getting closer to a nice tight sub bass. Now I'm going to make a few more adjustments. To start, I'm going to tweak the filter so that all high frequencies are removed from Corpus's output. Now I'm turning up bleed a touch, which will allow some of the unprocessed sound to pass through. 
I'm going to head back over to my sidechain section and I'm turning the off decay button on. I'm setting the value to 43%. This, along with the short decay value I have dialed in, will smoothly turn off corpus resonator effect when it receives a MIDI note off from its sidechain input. Now the resonator will basically shadow operator's bass sound with its effect. So let's hear the bass again. Well that works for what I'm doing, so I'm going to stop here now. But I definitely recommend experimenting with the Corpus. A couple more things to check out are the different model types and also the LFO section. Well thanks for checking out this video and be sure to check out dubspot.com for more tutorials. Thanks a lot, take care.